Joining us now is former Olympic boxer Mike Strange, city councillor in Niagara Falls as well. But Mike, we're here to talk about something that really hit close to home for you during this COVID-19 crisis. You lost one of your biggest mentors in the boxing game, Pat Kelly, to this disease. Yeah, it was uh, basically two, two Sundays ago, um, and I got a call on the Saturday, the day before, that saying that um, Pat Kelly, my, my former uh, boxing coach, and his wife were in the hospital, and they had COVID, and um, I talked to his son, Patrick, and, uh, you know, he's very, very upset on the phone and saying, you know, my mom looks like she's going to do well, but I talked to my dad, and he doesn't think he's going to make it, and Patrick was like, what do you mean? You're talking to me right now or you're across a, a bed from me right there. He goes, what are you talking about? You're going to make it. You know what I mean? And then Sunday night, got a call and, and uh, Pat passed away. And, with, and I just couldn't, could not believe it, you know, and it really hit home. You know, obviously weeks have gone by with um, this, this crisis and uh, the virus going around. And, you know, when you actually know somebody um, and it's taken their life, it's it really really hit home and um you know it just the memories that i have with pat starting you know back at the shamrock boxing gym this little tiny woodworking shop in silvertown in niagara falls and uh going there and it was probably like a thousand square foot place and i used to have to run there from my house and like go over the railroad track bridge and and run into the gym because it was so cold you had to have a woodworking stove in there but you got in there and the atmosphere was like you know the rocky balboa gym and and pat was my mickey and uh he was he was not only a coach but a a mentor a friend um you know he taught me a lot in the sport of boxing but he taught me a lot just about life and um you know what's important and uh, to lose a man like that i know he was in his mid 80s but he was a strong strong guy and man if it if something like this can take him, it could take anybody. Mike, your relationship with him progressed. I mean, as your career caressed, uh, progressed as a boxer, his career also as a coach progressed because he became uh, tied to the national team as well. So this is a tragedy that doesn't just hit Niagara Falls. No, it, it hits, hits all of Canada. The country. Yeah, it hits all of Canada. You know, at one time, we had five boxers on the national team. Billy Irwin... Uh, Donnie Gignac, Jamie Paganam, Donnie, uh, and and all of us were on that five, Mark Irwin, sorry, five out of the 12 on the national team were from Niagara Falls, this little gym. So he was our national coach and for many uh, tournaments and um, not only coach for us, but a coach for all the boxers on the national team. And they loved him. They had a special effect. Uh, he had a special effect on all of them. And he was the type of guy who, when he was coaching you, he wouldn't get really excited in the corner. He would kind of calm you down and say, listen, son, just relax, keep you grounded and tell you what you're doing wrong or doing right. And um, just an all around great guy. And outside the ring when we were traveling, he would, he would be that guy that was telling the joke and making you laugh. And, you know, a lot of us were really, really nervous because you're, you know, you're going in, you're representing your country and you're really nervous and stressed and worry about getting your weight down and being in shape. And he would just, you know, have a couple, uh, put a couple laughs in there and make you smile and, and make it a little bit easier uh, for the boxers. And, you know, we're in different tournaments and, you know, as soon as you lost, you were out of the tournament. But he always said, you know what, go and see this country where you are, whether it be Italy or we were three weeks in Africa the one time. And man, he was just, uh, I, I just remember those trips and going on, we went on a safari in Kenya. It was it was a different time, obviously, but it's something that I will always cherish those memories with with all the guys on the team. And I've been getting messages from all over Canada, uh, sending their condolences to, to Pat and all the boxers and, and his family. It's real, real special, special memories that I had with Pat. And during this time, we can't have funerals. And this is the kind of person that needs a, you, you would just think that he needs to have the proper funeral. I don't want that closure, but I really want to do that celebration of life for him because he deserves it. He was such a special person in Niagara Falls, a legend. He really was a legend and he meant a lot to a lot of boxers and a lot of people. And 
you know, my condolences to, to his family and Patrick and Bunny, who is safe at home now, his wife. And she's and well? She's family. okay? She's she, she's she is through. back at home. She, just a couple days ago, she got the green light to go home. Um, Patrick, is, is their son is two doors down, so making sure they're okay. And people have been sending care packages and sending lovely messages that we love her. And um, I, we definitely going through a, a very, very hard time. And you know, uh, Patrick, I, you know, the son, I, you know, imagine losing one person or a parent to this virus. And then, you know, I couldn't imagine if, if he would have lost his mom too, but his mom pulled through, thank God. And, um, you know, they're living, you know, with, with the hit of this COVID, it's crazy to know somebody, you know, and, and you don't want his legacy. Oh, there's the, there's the, you know, they're Pat Kelly, the guy, you know, COVID took him. No, Pat Kelly was a legend, a boxing yeah. legend, you know, exactly. back when he was a kid. And his brother Brian was a legend and, and a boxer. And his whole boxing life was, was it was all about helping kids and mentoring uh, kids in that ring. And, and not only in the ring, but out in uh, the real world as well. Well, Mike, that's certainly what we will remember. And as a close friend and associate of Pat, our condolences from everybody here at uh, your TV. Thanks for joining us today, Mike Strange. Thank, thank you so much. And everybody, have, hope you have a great Easter Monday and, and have a safe, uh, be safe and be healthy, please, everybody. We'll be back with more on the COVID-19 Niagara update in just a moment.